plastic bottles, metal cans, and even fridges or tires. Most of the plastic in our oceans comes from rivers, so it's vital to stop that pollution at its source. But how do you clean up plastic in the Danube, a river which runs through nearly a dozen European countries? We're in Hungary to meet the teams trying to do just that. We're often told we're in an ecological race to save the planet. These volunteers have taken that to heart. They've gathered on Hungary's River Tisa, the Danube's longest tributary, for the Plastic Cup, a competition to collect as much junk as possible. You'd think a place like this would be pristine, but everywhere there are discarded bottles and just general plastic waste. The Tisa and Danube flow through several countries, so what happens upstream can have a huge impact further down the river. To find out more, I spoke to Plastic Cup's project leader. It's coming from the upstream uh, countries. How much plastic have you managed to fish out? Usually we can collect around uh, 1,000 kilograms a day, so one ton a day keeps the waste away. <laughs> around 150 volunteers joined this cleanup. It's always good fun and making friends and having a blast and doing good. This is my first time at the Pet Cup and I hope that every year there will be less and less trash to collect. Almost half the Earth's surface waters are in river basins shared by at least two countries. There is a lot of pollution going on, I think, in every river globally. The Danube is transferring 1,500 tonnes of plastic. The Tissa is around 250, and we can stop 100 tonnes per year. And stop it getting to oceans? Yes, absolutely. OK, let's leave this clean up for a moment and check out another event. It's called Danube Day. Europe-wide, this workshop at Hungary's Water Museum in Estegom taught children about the river's ecological importance. It was also a chance to find out from those managing the country's waterways what's being done to tackle plastic pollution. Hello, boy. Hello. Working as a team, then, to address the issue. Yeah, we need cooperative uh, stakeholders, companies, NGOs, decision makers, everybody to clean up the Tissa Basin and the Danube Basin as well. It's just very logical legislation and then uh, action. That's it for this episode. See you soon for more Water Matters.